All right, man. Rumor out there that Jimmy could be leaving Michigan uh, to go back to the NFL. I'm going, going back to back to the NFL. So it's a lot of rumors out there leaking Jim Harbaugh. Might be going back to the NFL. You got the Bears. You got the Raiders all in the mix. Let's talk about it. Check out the College Sports Playlist. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. Okay. Now, obviously, two questions pop in your head. Where does he, if it, is it true? And um, is it true? And who, where does he go? And then maybe a third question is who does Michigan replace him with? There's two, like three great candidates out there I could think of. Let's spit on it. So, Jim Harbaugh could leave Michigan for the Raiders link as a landing spot. Okay. It says that. Fresh off winning his first Big Ten title, knocking off Ohio State and reaching the college football playoffs, could Michigan Wolverines Jim Harbaugh be headed back to the NFL? According to Bruce Fieldman to the Athletic, that's a possibility. The Athletic is hearing rumblings both from the NFL side and at Michigan that Harbaugh might be tempted to leave the Wolverines to return to the NFL. Quote, I think it's real, said one source. This week, when asked about the possibility of Harbaugh being interested in heading back to the NFL, and he's obviously a better fit. Bo Schenberger never won a national title. And they don't love Lloyd Carr. I think he the one that won a national title in Michigan. And he won one, even though we shared that BCS stuff. He don't get treated like a uh, Bo Schimbler, whatever the damn name, Bo Schimbler, whatever. And he got some nasty history behind him right now. So uh, a return in the field wouldn't be shocking, even after Michigan ex excellent 21, 20, 2021 season. Harbaugh 58 has deep ties to the league. He was a one-time Pro Bowl who played quarterback from 87 to 2000 for the Chicago Bears, Indianapolis Colts, Baltimore Ravens, San Diego Chargers. He also was a quarterback coach for the Oakland Raiders, 2002-3, and head coach of the San Francisco 49ers from 2011 to 2014, leading the Niners to the Super Bowl in 2012, where they lost to his brother John Harbaugh in Baltimore. Uh, so it says, sources, Bruce Fillman, both. Okay, right though. If Harbaugh wants back in, this would be his best choice for all – uh, presumed openings, it would be an upgrade for a bunch of teams if they wanted to fire their coach to get him. Only a handful of teams should seriously consider doing that. I'm just saying. So, I mean, the Bears uh talk about it. Bears wire the kid bills. So, Bears fans react to report that Jim Harbaugh is considered a return to NFL. They thinking about it, and you know, kind of from the Michigan standpoint of view, I've been a Michigan fan a lifetime. He pissed me off the year before. Um, and until they beat Ohio State, I really wasn't. I wasn't back in. They beat Ohio State. Excuse me. And excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me, excuse me. But probably, for Michigan, they gotta open. They gotta do two things. They gotta bust the open. They gotta bust open the wallet. Okay. They gotta bust open the wallet. Okay. And they got to go get Luke Fickle or Matt Campbell. And then the third choice in my mind is probably uh, – it's probably some good ones out there, UCF coach. and Or they got to go out there in SEC country and pluck, pluck somebody from there. And or they got to go get Greg Schiano from Rutgers. Greg Schiano was done – you know, he went to the NFL, kind of flaked out with the Bucks, But for years, he's done more – with less at Rutgers, even, you know, this year they was undefeated for a minute, you know? So, you know, to me, you know, if I had to rank them, Fickle, Campbell, uh, SEC guy, good, the right one probably trumps everybody. Um, maybe then, you know, Shiano. From Michigan standpoint of view, that – that should be the the list of order who you can you should contact them all simultaneously. That's you know that's who I would be going after. This is my opinion, and there's you know some guys out there that follow college football better and harder than me. Okay, so let's say that. So my my list isn't the end all be all list. OK, so that's all I'm saying. My list is the end all be all. Probably some of you guys who got a better uh, list than me, but those would be the guys I go after.
You know, they got to open. Michigan, you know, gross, they top three, top five year, year out at grossing. At grossing. So get out that. I mean, ain't no Michigan men. You know, when people talk about Woodson. And people, you know, that's the name they threw out there. But other than that, you know, you got an opportunity to go get one of these top guys. Go get them and give them the resources they didn't have in Iowa State where they didn't have at Rutgers or they didn't have, you know, uh, at Cincinnati. And we've seen that Luke Fickle can build the defensive side of the ball. You know, and Michigan ain't throwing enough money in recruiting either. They got to spend more and more money if they want to win. Michigan has been for years, for their entire lifetime, other than winning championships back in the day, they they've been they've been they've been posturing. They've been posturing as a blue blood. And they're not. They got to get out the, the the mindset. They have to get out the mindset of <laughs> we a blue blood. <laughs> <laughs> and we make we 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 gross all this money, this that and the third. They got to actually go out there and do it, spend the money, get the guy. And the academic gap is tough. You know, the gap is 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 less than Stanford, and Stanford is damn near. Uh, basically, if it was on the East Coast, it'd probably be Ivy League. And that's one of the reasons people don't talk about that. Michigan can't win. Their standards are high. You're going to get a good academic, uh, you're going to get a good education in Michigan. It's a significant gap between Alabama. It's a nice little gap between Georgia. <laughs> Georgia, Georgia. You know what I'm saying? It's a significant gap. You know, so, you know, like I said before, that means you got to recruit tougher and harder. And when you talk about the academic at Notre Dame and the standards at Michigan, there, there's a gap. There's a gap there. And that gap limits your talent pool. You know, Alabama standard is the reason why Nick Saban went to went to uh went to Alabama and LSU. The academic standards are bullshit. It's not it's not high. I get any and everybody in there. So you gotta think about that. Everybody talking about the speed. They they pool they 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 ab, 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 academic pool or they pool of, of of recruits it doesn't get you know and they you know they they it limits they they have an open pool to any player they want to the bare minimum of academics to the guys with JUCO. Who barely getting past the JUCO to to the to the to the elite academic players? They pool is fruitful, very fruitful. You're talking about Notre Dame, Stanford, Michigan, it becomes Florida State. A little bit of Georgia starts to become limited. It starts to become limited. It starts to limit the pool. So you got to think about that, too. Harbaugh is limited. They're not spending enough money in recruiting, like top 15. I can't get the best players. It's limited. In the NFL, I can get any player I want, as long as the owner sign off on it. You know? So you got to remember, in that field, you don't have to spend all that time recruiting. You're not responsible for individual. These guys are grown. Men in that field, they're responsible for, even though it could be a black guy in the organization, they're responsible for themselves. College is a lot of work. You recruiting year-round. It's a year-round sport. And in the field, yeah, you know, you got more help. You got general manager. You got a front office. You got a scouting department. You got college director of personnel and, um, and, and college. But, you know, it's too much work. You're responsible for every little thing. Won your rep, you know what I'm saying? That's why Urban gave it a try. That's why Urban gave it a try. Let's be real. 
That's why Irving gave it a try. You know, he failed. But Harbaugh succeeded at that level, you know? So, uh, like I said before, I know hard feelings. He did his, I think he felt that he said it was just the beginning. You can't believe, you can't believe everything that, that people say. You know, you can't. You know, they will, they will sit there. And and lie to you. They will lie. But he has, I'm not mad at him. I don't think he could do a, a good enough job. In my opinion. That's just my opinion. I don't think he's a good enough coach. He hasn't even, you know, had the ability to win a big game. And then the team he went to in San Francisco was already talented. Just needed a little bit of direction. You know? That's all it was. But at the, at the end of the day, He got to do his best for him and his family. He's 58 years old. He's a Michigan to probably always be there for him. Honestly. And to probably always be there for him. But no hard feelings. At all. At all. But it is what it is. Everybody's entitled to their pen and they're they entitled to quitting when they want to. But Harbaugh got it right. Maybe he want to go back. Maybe he feel like he accomplished what he had to accomplish at Michigan. He fine with it. But Michigan has to go to the next level. And they got to find a guy that can take him to the next level. And they got to pour more and more money into the football program. If you not take that money and put it into the basketball program, you probably won't lose a game. <laughs> Pun intended. But my opinion. But Harbaugh, maybe he feel like he reached the ceiling. Maybe he realized, reached. He, he feel like he reached the ceiling. Can't get mad at somebody who feel like they did everything they could do with the resources and the limitations he got with the academic standards, and you know if they not spend enough money how they want to spend it. Not saying that's the case. The only can do. You know, never really found that blue chip. Uh, Never really found that blue chip prospect. At quarterback. Ain't really been producing superstars. There's been some good players like Chase Winovich, you know, and so on. But, you know, and maybe wish he would have went to SEC. It ain't like he, you know, leaving us for SEC country. But maybe the pros, maybe he liked it better. You know, he was on the precipice of, of being a champion. If the lights didn't go out, I think they probably would have won. And the Ray Lewis motivation factor played a part. But, but yeah, I, you know, Matt Campbell, Luke Fickle, Dresciano, SEC guy somewhere, those are those should be the picks. But when I say the SEC, most of their two schools that ain't 
raise the academics to Michigan, Notre Dame, Stanford uh, level. If they did, they wouldn't be getting, they wouldn't be as successful as they, if they are now. So, yeah, that's just my opinion. Let me know what you girls and guys think. Find me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. If you have a business question, inquiry, response, your video request, or on my social media links in the description. Twitter's the fast way, and Facebook and Instagram. I make a financial donation. Cash app CJ Good 313. Venmo CJ Good 313. PayPal link in the description. Appreciate the love, support everybody showing. Uh, appreciate the financial support, man. Keep helping me out, man. Go a long way to help the channel out. Best way to donate, uh, the count, comment, thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. That subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications, increase your chance to get notifications when I go live. One time for the one time.